my fellow viewers. It is I, Amber. That's all I'm saying. That one, no creepazoids. I am going to do a scene from James and the Giant Peach, Roald Dahl, from the play, obviously. Because I'm in the play at my school, the ensemble. So, yeah. Oh no! No! I'm hungry. I'm famished. So am I. Everyone's famished. We need food! Aren't you hungry? What's the matter with you? You look, what's the matter with you? You look positively ill. He looks as if though he's going to faint any second. Oh my goodness, the poor thing. I do believe he'd think it's him that we are wanting to eat. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, what an awful thought. You mustn't be frightened. We wouldn't dream of hurting you. You are one of us now. Didn't you know that? You were one of the crew. We're all in the same boat. We've been waiting for you all day long. We thought you were going to turn up. I'm glad you made it. So cheer up, my boy. Cheer up. And meanwhile, I wish you'd come over here and give me a hand with these boots. It takes me hours to get them all off by myself. You are. Thank you so much. You are very kind. Well, uh, you have a lot of boots. I have a lot of legs and a lot of feet. One hundred feet, to be exact. I am a centipede, you know. There he goes again. He simply cannot stop telling lies about his legs. He's only got 42. The trouble is that most people don't bother to count them. And anyway, there is nothing marvelous, you know, centipede about having lots of legs. Poor earthworm. He's blind, you know. He can't see how splendid I look. In my opinion, the really marvelous thing is to have no legs at all and to be able to walk just the same. You call that walking? You're a slitterer. That's all you are. You slitter along. I glide. You are a slimy beast. I am not a slimy beast. I am useful and a much loved creature. Ask any garden you like. And as for you, I am a pest. He's so proud of that. So for the life of me, I can't understand why. Oh, God. Oh, please excuse me, my... My name is Ladybug. Please to meet... I am the only pest in this room! Unless you count old green grasshopper over there. But he's too old to be a pest anymore. Young fellow, I am Grasshopper, who is rather old, but not a pest. I am a musician. Well said. Well said, old green grasshopper. In case you haven't guessed by now, my name is Spider. James, your name is James. Your name is James, isn't it? Yes. Well, James, have you ever in your life seen such a marvelous colossal centipede as me? I certainly haven't. How on earth did you get to be like that? Very peculiar, very peculiar indeed. I was messing about in the garden under the old big tree, and some funny little green thing came wiggling past my nose. Oh, but I know what that was. It happened to me too. And me. And me. Suddenly, there were little green things everywhere. The soil was full of them. 
I actually swallowed one. So did I. <laughs> I swallowed three. But who's telling this story anyway? Don't interrupt. Not now, Centipede. Why don't you get to the top and get started? What's going on? What's going on? In case you don't know it. In case you don't know it. We're about to depart from the top of this ghastly hill that we've been living on for so long. We're about to roll away inside a great big beautiful peach to a land of, 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 to a land of, of what? Never you mind. Never you mind. But nothing could be worse than this desolate hilltop, those two repulsive ants of yours. Hear, 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 hear. You may not have noticed it, but the whole garden, even before it reaches the steep, the steep edge of the hill, happens to be on a steep slope, and therefore the only thing that has been stopping this peach from rolling away right from the beginning is the thick stem attaching it to the tree. Break the stem and off we go. I've done it! I've done it! We're off! The journey begins! Dun dun dun! And who, and who knows where all will end? If you have anything to do with it, it can only mean trouble. Nonsense! We are now about to visit the most marvelous places and see the most wonderful things. Isn't that so, Centipede? There is no knowing what we shall see. We may see a creature with 49 heads who lives in the desolate snow. And whenever he catches a cold which he dreads, he has 49, not, 49 noses to blow. We shall may see a dragon and nobody knows that we won't see a unicorn there. We may see a terrible monster with toes growing out of the tufts of his hair. We may see the sweet little pity bright hen, so playful, so kind, and well bred. And such beautiful legs, you just boil them, and then they explode, and they blow up your head. But who cares? Let us go from this horrible hill. Let us roll, let us bowl, let us plunge. Let us go rolling and bowling and spinning. Until we're away from old Spiker and old Sponge. Dun, dun, dun. The ants stand outside of the curtain waiting for the people to come so that they can make more money. The peach light is on. Why do we have to get up so early, Spiker? Why? It's still dark outside. Well, if an early bird catches the worm, the gratuitous ants will catch the suckers. <laughs> I don't get it. Spiker, what do you mean? Money. I'm here to make money, Sponge. Get it? Make money. Just look at all those people coming up the hill. I wonder what became of that horrid little boy of ours last night. Never did come back in, did he? He probably fell down in the dark and broke his leg. Or his neck, maybe. Just wait till I get my hands on him. He'll never want to stay out all night again by the time I'm finished with him. Good gracious me, what's that awful noise? Spiker! I know this sounds silly, but I, it looks as if the fence is breaking in the pages. The pages? Are you ill, Sponge? Are you? Are you? You must be. Oh, no! It can't be! Move, Spider, out of my way. Shove off, Sponge. Me first. No, no, no! Stay away! Oh. No, no, stay away. Ants 
Spiker and Aunt Sponge disappear backstage by slipping through the slit in the curtain. Then there is a thumping sound. I wonder what that noise was. Well, anyway, you'll never believe it. The giant peach is still moving. It's rolling and bouncing the steep slope at a terrific pace. It's going faster and faster and faster, and the crowds of people who were climbing up the hill have suddenly caught sight of its plunging down upon them. They're screaming and scattering to the right and left. It just... It's just knocked over a telegraph pole and flattened two uh, parked cars. It's rushing madly across about 20 fields. Just look at those cows and sheep and horses and pigs stampeding in all directions. Hey, you would scatter too if the giant peach were coming down on you, wouldn't you? Oh dear, it's rolling right through that village. I don't believe it. But it just went crashing through one of the giant walls of a walk it bucket chocolate factory. In fact, there's now a great river of warm melted chocolate flowing through every street in the village. Will it ever stop? But then, why should it? A round object will always keep on rolling as long as it is on a downhill slope. But wait, there's the sea. Surely the peach and all of its occupants aren't going to end up there. But then, what's to stop it? I know James wanted to visit the seaside, but somehow, I don't think that's what he had in mind. It's heading for those who towering white cliffs that are the most famous in the whole of England. They're hundreds of feet high. Below them, the sea is deep, cold, and hungry. Many ships and men have been swallowed up and lost forever on this part of the coast. The peach is now only a hundred yards away from the cliff. Now fifty. Now twenty. Now ten. Now five. It's gone over. Down, 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 down. Smack! There is the sound of an object falling into the water, obviously. What a colossal splash! Wow, it sank like a stone. Wait, I think I see. Yes, yes. I see something. Yes. Yes. Look over there. End of scene three. Scene four. Action now takes place on the auditorium floor directly in front of the stage. Peach light is now shown on. Compassing all of the characters who seem to be quite shaken up. Let's have some light. Yes. Light. Give us some light, glowworm. Glowworm? Glowworm? I never met a glowworm in here. That's because he was up on the slimy ceiling. The lazy beast. Although, now that you mention his name, he really doesn't look like much of a worm, does he? I am not a worm. I am not a he either. I'm simply a lady firefly without wings. Big deal, big deal. Come on, give us more light. I'm a droid. I'm doing my best. Please be patient. Change the color filter on your spotlight to do whatever color you wish Glowworm to give off. There. Some great journey. I shall never be the same again. I shall never be the same again. Nor I. It's taking years off my life. But all oh, our dear friends, we are there. Where, where is there? I don't know, but I'll bet it's somewhere good. We're probably at the bottom of a coal mine. Perhaps we are in the middle of a beautiful country full of songs and music. Or near the seaside with lots of other children down on the sand for me to play with. Pardon me, but am I wrong in thinking that we seem to be bobbing up and down? Bobbing up and down? What on earth do you mean? You're still dizzy from the journeys. Everybody ready to go upstairs now and take a look around? 
Yes, yes, come on, let's go, let's go. I refuse to show myself out of doors, my bare feet. I have to get my boots on again first. For heaven's sake, let's not go through all that nonsense again. Let's all lend the centipede a hand and get it over with. Let's all lend the centipede a hand and get it over with. Come on. While we are doing that, I'll wave a, wave a ladder to help us out. All crowd and around centipede and assist in putting on his shoes. Okay, we're done. Here we go, boys. The promised land. I can't wait to see it. Blah, 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 blah. But this is impossible. I told you we were bobbing up and down. I told you we were bobbing, bobbing up and down. We're in the middle of the sea. But where are the fields? Where are the woods? Where is England? Ladies and gentlemen, try. I am afraid that we have found ourselves in a rather awkward situation. Awkward? We are finished. I may be blind, you know, but know that, but that much I can see quite clearly. Off with my boots! I cannot swim with my boots on! I can't swim at all! I can't swim at all! I can't swim at all! Nor, nor can I! Nor I! But you won't have to swim! We're floating beautifully, and sooner or later a ship is bound to come along and pick us up. Are you sure we're not sinking? Are you sure we're not sinking? Are you sure we're not sinking? Of course I'm sure. Go and look up for yourselves. The boy is quite right. We are floating beautifully. Now we must all sit down and keep perfectly calm. Everything will be all right in the end. What absolute nonsense. Nothing is ever all right in the end. And, well, you know it. Poor Earthworm. He loves to make everything into a disaster. He hates to be happy. If this page is not going to sink, and if we are not going to be drowned, then everyone else, every one of us is going to starve to death instead. By golly! By golly! He's right for once. He's right. Of course! I'm always right! We shall get thinner and thinner and thirstier and thirstier. I'm dying already. I slowly shriveling up for want of food. Personally, I'd rather drown. But she must be blind. She must be blind. How cruel. You know very well I'm blind. There's no need to rub it in. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry, but can't you see that? See? How can I see if I'm blind? Can't you realize that we have enough food here to last us for weeks and weeks and weeks? Where? Where? What are you talking about, James? Why, the peach, of course. Our whole ship is made out of food. Jumping Jessifat. 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 Jehoshaphat. We never thought of that. My dear James, I don't know what we'd do without you. You are clever. You must be crazy. You can't eat the ship. It's the only thing that is keeping us up. We shall starve if we don't. And we shall drown if we do. Oh dear, oh dear. Now, of course, worse off than before. You can eat all you want. It would take us weeks and weeks to make any sort of a dent in this enormous peach. Surely you can see that. Good heavens, he's right again. An excellent idea. What are you looking so worried about, Earthworm? What's the problem? 
The problem is, the problem is, well, the problem that is that there's no problem. <laughs> Cheer up, earthworm. Come and eat. Delicious. Delicious. Just fabulous. Oh my. You know, James, this page is not even better than those. This page is even better than those tiny little green flies that live that live on rose bushes. And flies were never as good as this. What a flavor! It's terrific! There's nothing like it. There never has been. And I should know because I'm a personally have tasted all the finest foods in the world. I've eaten fresh mud burgers by the greatest cooks there are. And scrambled dregs and stink bugs, eggs and hornets stewed in tar. And pails of snails and lizard tails and beetles by the jar. A beetle is improved by just a splash of vinegar. I'm mad for crispy wasping, wasp stings on a piece of butter toast and pickled spines of porcupines. And gorgeous roasts of dragon's flesh well hung, not fresh. It costs about a pound at most and comes to you in barrels if you order it by the post. For dinner on my birthday, shall I tell you what I choose? Hot noodles made from poodles on a slice of garden hooves. And a rather smelly jelly made of armadillo toes. The jelly is delicious, but you have to hold your nose. Now come, I do declare, the burden of my speech. These foods are rare, but on compare, some are right out of reach. But there's no doubt I'd go without it. A million plates of each for one small mite, one tiny bite. Oh, this fantastic bitch! Hooray, beautiful centipede! Hooray! Look at that! Look at that funny! Look at that funny thin black thing gliding through the water over there. There are two of them. There are lots. There are lots of them. What are they? Probably some kind of fish come along to say hello. They're sharks. I'll bet you anything you like that they're sharks and they have come along to eat us up. What absolutely, what absolute rot. I am positive they are sharks. I just know they are sharks. Ahem. Just assuming that they are sharks. There still can't possibly be any danger if we stay up here, is there? Look, they're all swimming in towards us. Go away! Go away, you filthy bass! Go away! Look at the size of their jaws. Oh dear. Oh dear. They're attacking. We are finished now. They will eat us up the whole page and then there will be nothing left for them to us to stand on. <clears throat> then they'll start on us. She's right. We are lost forever. Oh, I don't want to be eaten. But they will take me first of all because I am so fat and juicy and I have no bones. <laughs> Is there nothing we can do? Surely you can think of a way out of this? Think. Think, James. Think. Come on. Come on, James. There must be something we can do. There is something that I believe we might try. Not saying it'll work. Tell us. Tell us quickly. We'll try anything you say. But hurry. 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 Quiet and let the little boy speak. Go on, James. Go on, go on, go on. I, I, I'm afraid it's no good after all. I'm terribly sorry. I forgot we don't have any string. 
You need hundreds of yards of string to make this work. But my dear boy, that's exactly what we do have. We've got all you want. How? Where? The silkworm. Didn't you ever notice the silkworm? He's still downstairs. Yes, he never moves. He just lies there sleeping all day long. But we can easily wake him up and make him spin. And what about me? May I ask? I can spin just as well as any silkworm. What's more, I can spin patterns. Can you make enough between you? As much as you want. And quickly? Of course, of course. And would it be strong? The strongest there ever is. But why? What are we going to do? I'm going to lift this peach clear out of the water. You're mad. It's our only chance. Come on, James. How are you going to do it? Sky hooks, I suppose. Seagulls, the place is full of them. Look up there. I'm going to take a long silk string and I'm going to loop one end of it around a seagull's neck. And then I'm going to tie the other end to the stem of the peach, which is standing up like a short, thick mast in the middle. Ugh. Then I'm going to get another seagull and do the same thing again. And then another, then another. Ridiculous! Poppycock! Absurd! Balderdash! Madness! How can a few seagulls lift an enormous thing like this up into the air and all of us as well? There's no shortage of seagulls. Look for yourself. We'll probably need 400, 500, maybe even 1,000. I don't know. I shall simply go on hooking them up to the stem until we have, until we have enough to lift us. It's like balloons. You give someone enough balloons to hold. I mean, really enough, then he, up he goes. And a seagull has far more lifting power than a balloon. If only we have the time to do it. <clears throat> You're absolutely off your head. How on earth do you suppose to get a loop of string around a seagull's neck? I suppose you're going to fly up there yourself and catch it? The boy's daddy. Let him finish. Go on, James. How would you do it? With bait. Bait? 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 What sort of bait? With a worm, of course. Seagulls love worms. Didn't you know that? And lucky for us, we have the biggest, fattest, juiciest one, earthworm. You can stop right there. Go on, go on, go on. The seagulls may all uh, have already spotted him. That's why there are so many of them circling around. But they daren't come down to get him a while. All oh, the rest of us are standing here. So that is what... Stop! 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 I won't have it! I refuse! I... 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 My dear earthworm! You're going to be eaten anyway, so what difference does it make whether it's sharks or seagulls? I won't do it! Why don't we hear... Why don't we hear what the plan is first? I don't give a hoot what the plan is. I'm not going to be pecked to death by a bunch of seagulls. You'll be a martyr. I shall suspect you for the rest of my life. Respect you for the rest of my life. But he won't have to give his life. Now listen to me. This is what we'll do. Why, it's absolutely brilliant. Or I shall be pet. Oh, I shall be pecked to death. Oh, of course you won't. I will. I know I will. And I won't even be able to see them coming at me. Because I have no eyes. <laughs> I won't let them touch you. I promise I won't. But we've got to hurry. Look down there. Action stations. Jump to it. There's not a moment to lose. All hands below deck except Earthworm. Yes, yes, come on, let's hurry. And you, Centipede, get that silkworm to work at once. 
Tell him to spin as he's never spun before. And you too, Spider. Hurry on down. Start spinning. End of scene four. As the curtain opens, many strings or threads are seen coming either from above or high off stage down the stem. James is trying the last one, tying the last one to the stem. The spotlight comes on. Earthworm is half on stage and half off, held by the old green grasshopper and ladybug. <clears throat> this is this is the 502nd seagull. I think this one will do it. Oh, I don't like Oh, oh, I don't like this at all. Hurry, James. Quiet down, Earthworm. You should be thankful that you're still alive. All because James had such a clever idea. Shell, yes, I marvel at him. Just think capturing seagulls by using bait. Yes, it is a splendid idea. Not if you're the bait. It's working. It's working. I can feel us lifting. Look, everyone, come on up. It's working. It's working. Oh, isn't it beautiful? What a marvelous thing. And I'm not hurt. That's all I can take. Video one complete. Bye. I'm tired. Good night. Ciao.